Well, I still hear the music, so there must be one zombie remaining. Up oh, there he goes. All right, well, now we have to take care of the old-fashioned way. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that was easy. And you can actually just like, if there are like a couple of zombies left over, you can actually run past them because once you get all the way over here, then they can't get you no more. Like once you climb up this thing, they, uh, the zombies can't come after you no more. So if you want to, instead of fighting them, you could just do that. Mona, have you been developing any symptoms? Amy's telekinetic powers are increasing, Ellen. They're more powerful than her best scores in the center by at least a magnitude. I'll need to run a battery of tests to understand what's been done to her. You're certain that she's showing no signs of infection? No, it's the opposite. Well, she heals me every time I get sick. She's become a cure for the virus, at least for me. Okay, this is gonna be a puzzle room uh, involving the elevators. But first I'm going to get this, uh, this wooden stick and a syringe. And I'm going to... Well, Amy, what are you doing? Alright. So I'm going to call this elevator real quick. And then start this elevator puzzle. I'm going to have Amy lift this elevator up for me. Make my way down here. And then I'm gonna move this thing out the way. And that's basically it. Now you may think that that's kind of useless why I would do that all that just to move this thing out the way. Well it's because I'm gonna need to have Amy go up the elevator. Now, this is going to be a challenge, Amy. It's like one of those games we played at the center. Let's put our brain caps on. I'm gonna call it down, then I'm gonna have Amy get on it. Because she can't, Amy can't actually climb on ladders. So, uh, I'm gonna have her get on the elevator, then I can use the ladder to get up there. And then there's a glyph over there that I can actually need her to, uh, to use. Because, um, she only has one more shot left on her shockwave attack. So, uh,. I'm gonna need to refill that shockwave attack so she can uh, break through some wooden planks. Okay, so here's a glyph for her to draw, and it refills her shockwave attack to back to three slots, because she only had one, because uh, there's some wooden planks that she needs to break, and it requires two shots, so I had to refill it. So now that it's refilled, I'm going to have her go back down the elevator, and I'll go back down the ladder. Okay, so with this other elevator, I'm going to put her on there because in order for her to break the wooden planks, she needs to be right next to them. Well, she doesn't have to be, but like for where we are right now or anywhere else in this room, she can't actually shoot those wooden planks from any other spot. So I'm going to actually have her get up close to those wooden planks 
so that she can uh, knock them out of the way so we can progress further. So now that she's up there, I'm just going to send her over there so that she can do that. Oops, I meant to shoot it. I'm so proud of you, Amy. You did it! So I'm gonna have her get back on the elevator so I can call it down and then we're gonna switch spots. I need to get near her real quick so I can start healing. Alright Amy, now go ahead and uh, lift this elevator up. Wait for me Amy, I'm not going far. Alright, let me hurry before this infection takes a bigger hold on me. And so, I'm basically done with this uh, elevator puzzle now. All I gotta do now is that uh, after I get done from this ladder climb, which I just did, just open the gate up and I'm finished. I'm gonna have Amy destroy those wooden planks over there. And once she's done with that, there's another glyph over here to re uh, refill her shockwave uh, attack. Because she's gonna need two more shots again. For this, uh, because now I'm in, like in another puzzle room, which is actually pretty easy. It's not as uh, long as the other, the one I just did. So let's go ahead and do this. And sometimes there's a zombie in here, and sometimes there's not. It just just depends on the game really and I don't hear anything so I guess right now there is no zombie okay so I made sure to press that button first and then I'm gonna have Amy and I go up um, to that scaffold over here by climbing some boxes over here in the back And I'm gonna go ahead and have Amy destroy this wooden place over here. There we go. Then I'll press this button to move another uh, another lift. There we go. And then I'm gonna keep Amy here. Then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna go do what I need to do. Alright, last call for a zombie. No? Alright. So I guess there's not gonna be any zombie in this room. Like I said, sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Oh well, that's work for me. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here and then go to the right on this lift. And then have Amy call that other lift again. That's a as that lift comes, I just walk on it. Like so. And that's pretty much it. There's, then I just gotta move those little uh, crates and then that's it for this uh, this room. Oh, and have
have Amy destroy these uh, wooden links. All right. You don't have to worry about the professor anymore. I'm taking it. That actually scared me. I never actually heard that steam pipe go off before. Oh well. Time to move on. Alright, so I gotta sneak past this uh, soldier, and um, all I gotta do is make it into the train and it automatically ends the chapter. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sneak past him. Uh, it's actually not that hard. Oh, it took a spot of me. Oh, let's go. Alright, so yeah, the chapter's over. Like I said, you just had to run inside the train and it'll, it'll end the chapter. So that's the end of chapter 3, and so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon with chapter 4. Thanks, see you later.